Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is going to be for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising. Guys, the door is closing. If there's a decision you need to make, a life-based decision, you need to um, understand that the door is about to close. We've been in this state where we've been making major decisions on our life for the past couple of months. Now it's time to make that decision because by mid-September we're in a new cycle. Whether you like it or not, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Your stability. Being grounded, stable, firm foundation. Being able to nurture people and give. This is like uh, being in touch with yourself. And being able to give out what you would want okay it's a grounded energy it's not impulsive it's not overly emotional it's it's right there in the middle there where you can give to others and you can be the one making the decisions but it doesn't put you off balance okay the queen of pentacles is able to hold her own she is the independent woman even though this is not gender specific since it's a queen i'm saying woman but this is the independent individual okay has everything that he or she needs has that stable job steady flow of income has a healthy relationship with friends and family can be married or single but this person doesn't feel like they need something else to give them those earthly necessities i see the eight of pentacles i'm sorry the eight of cups it's with a lot of other things it feels like you guys are walking away from something that you are emotionally attached to this is actually putting you in this state scorpio putting you in the state where you appreciate everything you have you don't take anything for granted here you've learned a lot it feels like you went through a lot of lessons here your lessons actually you can use though you can use that energy and transmute it and help others because I can feel that you learned a big lesson I see the king of staves here you are manifesting a counterpart king of staves this this deck has the staves and not the wands so this is like the masculine and feminine here a lot of you are manifesting another half through your experience this also means that you're in touch with your feminine and your masculine side. We have the seven of pentacles. This is concerning you and someone else. You didn't get along. Uh, you guys did not know how to compromise. It was uh, an imbalance in this dynamic here. Uh, so with the seven of pentacles in this deck this is uh, <laughs> usually surrounding uh, stability somewhere in the dynamic money was of a concern so this could have been a work relationship this could have been a home relationship where two people uh, assets were combined um It seems like you and someone else did not agree on how to handle things when it came to, well, material things, tangible things. I'm going to pull one more card, then I'm going to clarify. 
because whoop. this was concerning the home I see ten of cups yeah this was a, a, a union between you and someone else here um, hmm the ten of cups is usually mutual support between two people that can beat any odds like uh, it looks like this could have been a strong bond that you've had with someone uh, where you guys actually had a really stable foundation together I mean you're separate here so we have the king queen of Pentacles and then the king of staves so you're you're two you're different but you complement each other because this is like fire and earth fire and earth together makes lava it's like a passionate union between two people but that passion at its worst gets really fiery where you can't you're always at odds but that passion at its best is lovely it's two people who love each other who can't be without each other so the two of you had opposites of two extremes going on here so it's almost one of those partnerships that's either a match made in heaven that sometimes or it's like a, a biggest challenge anyone could ever face Scorpio I'm gonna go ahead and ask for more before I start clarifying Okay, the world. This is letting me know that this state of what you all were going through is uh, it's time for it to end. It's ending. And the way your stance is, is like it's a successful end here. Okay. After a tower. After something happened. You're ending this cycle where it's um, an emotional roller coaster between you and someone else. After a tower, let me clarify this tower. Please clarify. Oh, justice. So I don't know if you all are um, getting a divorce. It feels like there was a balance needed. So some of you could be dissolving a marriage here. Others, there can be some kind of ending to the way things were could have been a compromise here because you go from fighting to hugging here so there could have been a compromise happening that ended the cycle and now there's a balancing of the scales and justice is in your favor or could have been so bad that you guys couldn't get along at all that the only thing that can make you come to an agreement was this tower the tower equates to something in the legal system usually dissolving a marriage and that ends this cycle so there's different groups here but there's something that happened that changed it's a major change and it's ending this cycle here. Lovers, there was a choice. Some of you were dealing with a third party relationship with someone where the person had a choice between you and someone else. It's saying that it's the end of that. And let me pull the last card. Oops, it's giving me two cards here. I have the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles.
So with the Knight of Pentacles, this is a a something a stable offer from someone. A stable offer that's a long time coming. It's you see how it's just sitting there? It's not moving. And it's he's not in a hurry either. Uh, it's almost like something needs to be worked on so it's giving you time before you get this stable offer to come in now with the nine of Pentacles this is the single individual who's able to turn lemon into lemonade Ooh, I'm dropping cards here who's able to turn something bad into something useful you see how she takes the nine pinnacles and she locks them together into a tool that can be used for something um, this is someone who's able to turn things into something tangible and uh, actually earn through this financially someone who's financially sufficient on their own someone who does not depend on someone else to give them ideas or to tell them how to do things for them to be able to take care of themselves this is someone who is independent and can do it on their own find their stability their independence their stable foundation on their own not through someone else but you got many pinnacle cards here so for some of you this could be actually work related where you weren't getting along with someone like it could have been a partner it could have been a co-worker two different people here and something had to be hashed out in the legal system to bring an end to this okay see choices there's a choice that needs to be made here with this lover's card it could be between two people it could be between two jobs it could be just what to do to end this cycle there's this, this cycle is trying to end let me go ahead and clarify the world card I mean the world also signifies that um, there's success and fulfillment in the change of events you know things that happen consistently are changing to end it the way it used to happen uh, the tower again that's your second tower card so yeah the tower came after the world here and then now the tower is clarifying the world so some shake up is what's causing this ending so if you just had a, a big shake up something that changed your life significantly for the good or for the bad if you just had this especially if it's dealing with the legal system but let's let's remove that if you just had this tower because you got two towers here that tower is supposed to be the catalyst that changes your life that moves you into the next cycle here this cannot be stressed enough okay it's definitely concerning someone else someone who you can either work very well with or work it or just doesn't work at all so at what this is trying to do is get you to a point where you actually are able to find your stability on your own independently it's it's not going to come in until you are where you need to be that's why it's moving so slow that's why it's not moving at all here there's a choice to be made you need to make a decision um, some of you were a part of a decision someone had to make could have been between you and someone else but I'm gonna be honest this is um, this reading shows potentiality here it shows potentiality for something beautiful between you and someone but there's just a lot of work that needs to be done individually 
with this double double tower there's a there's something you're not getting some there was a shake up because either ignoring the warning signs or you're just not heeding the warnings here to the point where things are escalated and you're ending with the nine a nine is an ending the purpose of this is to get you to depend on yourself trying to get you to depend on yourself Just trying to get you to depend on yourself and to be able to find conclusions on your own not through someone else I mean you started alone and I, fe I felt that you actually have that potential to be that grounded stable person to be able to depend on yourself okay that's what this is trying to teach you Scorpio until you can learn to be happy solitarily you're you're, you're gonna see that your stability is slow moving you won't get this that's a prerequisite to a happy union because the potential for a happy union is here especially with this uh, ten of cups but what's stopping you from getting this happy union is the fact that you feel like you need your another half or someone else to complete you. Every time you bring someone else in, guess what happens? And you can be repeating this cycle if you don't get this lesson. Guys, we're in that decision-making time right now. That door is about to close. Whatever decision you make right now, make sure it's something you can live with. Make sure it's something you can live with because some people are making decisions to stay in the same energies that they're unhappy with. And I just want you to know you're going to start recycling lessons. You're going to start going through the same thing over again. This double tower is a warning. It's a warning. This is a warning. It's almost telling you I gave you a tower before and I'll give it to you again if you don't get it. So, stability wants to come in. Stability wants to come in. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, extended and ask for advice for you, Scorpio, especially concerning this other person, because half of the reading is solely on you and this person and how you guys go up and down, up and down. And then finally, it's asking you to end this end this emotional roller coaster you've been having in the cycle if you don't it's going to be ended for you okay don't put yourself in the situation where it, you are an option where people are making choices for you between you and someone else if that's your case you you need to end that I'm trying to get you to where you depend on yourself okay all right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the extended. Uh, ask for advice for you and see what can help you through this. Okay, Scorpio? All right, so I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.